ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे श्री नितिन गडकरी जी एम डी ग्रीन स्टैट हाइड्रोजन इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड डॉक्टर जे पी गुप्ता जी प्रेजिडेंट इंडियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ एयर पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल डॉक्टर शर्मा एंड नेशनल वाइस प्रेजिडेंट डॉक्टर रत्री सीनियर्स एंड माई कोलीग्स इन द ऑडियंस ए वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स माई ऑनर टू प्रजेंट माई थाट्स इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर एंड अमिट्स this august gathering the topic which we are discussing now it's a very contemporary issue and it is a global risk which is affecting people organization and the planet at large in the last few years uh, we have been observing increasing evidence of negative impacts of climate change which is reflected in the form of extreme weather events changes in temperature and rainfall patterns growing water scarcity and ultimate natural disasters if you look at some examples cyclone edai in africa bushfires in australia melting of glaciers and the floods in our own country and nearby nepal bangladesh these are few such examples while governments and businesses are increasingly committed to decarbonization targets energy markets face extreme volatility which is driven by geopolitical tensions and a rebound in energy demand the ongoing conflict in ukraine as well as other factors have triggered significant peaks in energy prices due to uncertainties around supply security and affordability and this has come at a time when the markets are already tight following the covid-19 rebound if you look back at 2021 global energy demand and emissions increased by 5% as compared to 2020 almost reaching pre covid 19 levels in the context of cop 26 almost 100 countries amounting for 89% of global co2 emissions they have made net zero pledges while financial institutions and private sector enterprises also continue to increase their decarbonization aspirations as far as hydrocarbon sector is concerned major players with the likes of bp shell total they have also announced net zero emissions by 2050 as we all know uh, india as a country is committed to tackling the issue of climate change and has revealed its five fold strategy panchamrit which was announced by the honorable prime minister during cop 26 at glasgow to achieve net zero emissions by 2070 as far as ongc is concerned as a responsible corporate we strive to support the government of india in meeting these commitments and in helping our country transition towards a low carbon future in line uh, with these commitments ongc group has started working towards the goal of achieving carbon neutrality in our operations our energy 2040 strategy defines uh, our long term vision and growth plan while oil and gas will continue to remain on mainstream due to energy security needs we have taken strategic decisions of diversifying my portfolio in the areas of renewable energy and other low carbon source of energy actually the climate change effort comprises of multi level approach of increasing the share of renewable energy in our product portfolio as well as our operations implementing energy efficient technologies actively contributing towards cdm projects and creating awareness amongst our workforce towards conservation of energy and environment we have already 15 cdm projects which are registered with unfcc we have also taken several environmental conservation projects like eastern swamp deer conservation project mangrove afforestation green rameshwaram clean himalayas etc in 2019 we also participated in an industry level study on climate change risks and preparedness for oil and gas sector in india it has helped us understand the risks and impacts of climate change pushing us in the right direction for adopting suitable adaptation and mitigation measures so as mr sharma was saying we have a well established carbon management and sustainability group which manages our commitments and takes initiatives for emission reduction and related disclosures the sustainability journey in ongc is focused on balancing social environmental and economic risks and opportunities prior to the implementation of any project activities mitigation and adaptation being the ideal route for combating climate change we have pioneered several initiatives successfully in both these fronts 
And as was discussed in the morning session, carbon capture, storage, and utilization is the only clean technology which is capable of decarbonizing major industrial sectors. In this uh, regard, um, we have proposed CO2ER as a top priority area for utilization of CO2. We have already signed MOU with IOC in this regard, and we are uh, progressing this effort. Globally, uh, the decarbonization challenge is growing. It will require many combined factors to be successful, which will include avoided demand, CO2 capture and storage, hydrogen, bioenergy, technology performance, electrification, other renewables, and other fuel shifts. So once again, it has been discussed in the morning session in detail, and I also agree the world continues its needs to access energy security in an affordable way and in a clean way. So we will need to invest both in oil and gas industry as well as clean energy if we have to achieve our net zero objectives. I compliment Indian Association of Air Pollution Control for selecting a contemporary issue for deliberation. And I wish this decarbonization summit being organized by IAPC under Dr. Sharma a great success. Thank you.